Hi, this is Brandon Somak from the band Childbite, hanging out here at Not For Atu's Lair, and we're going to go uh, do a rundown of my gear. Come on inside. Alright, so we're starting off here with the, the guitars that I use. I play, uh, typically I play Gibson SGs. These are the, the two main guys that I use. Uh, they're uh, both made uh, mostly out of wood. Uh, the, the wood body and uh, a wood neck. There's also a couple like metal parts in there too, like down here and some metal stuff up here too. Um, I use uh, rail hammer pickups made by uh, Joe Naylor of Reverend Guitars. I use metal, good heavy strings. I'm just kind of used to the, the, the weight and the feel of the SGs. It's what I've always played and that's, uh, that's what I like. <laughs> Right, so we're coming in here at the start with the plimsoll. It's kind of got a little bit of a soulful vibe, kind of like a James Brown kind of thing. We run through there with the super overdrive, uh, which is basically just mimicking a car in overdrive, the sound of that. Uh, we're going from that into the Holly Grail, which is a custom made pedal made by this woman Holly Grail that makes pedals. Uh, this one specifically is a reverb that I use. Uh, the flashback is next by the company T-Clicktronic. Uh, it is kind of mimics uh, more of a nostalgic kind of sound that you can use. Uh, we got the, the tundra there, and then we're going around all the way down here to the arpanoid, and it does tons of cool stuff. Uh, you can use the, the wet knob here controls how, how much the watery the sound is, and the rate, how quickly you would have like the, the drips of water coming in. Uh, the pitchfork, simple enough, makes your guitar sound more like a pitchfork. With this blend knob here, you can make it more uh, blender sounding. Uh, we move from there into the the big sky. This one's cool. Got a lot of different settings. A lot of things you can do with it. Like if you're looking for uh, like an under the sea kind of vibe, you'd use the coral setting, or the the bloom setting is more like a springtime kind of vibe, like birds chirping that kind of thing. Um, we go from there into the the only pedal that was ever made by the RC Cola company. It's the RC 20 XL. And it's basically a power station for all these pedals. They, uh, they based it off of some research that was done by the Skid Kid who found that you can use RC Cola to power different devices. So on these ports on there, you just pour the can in and it lights up when it lets you know that the register is full of the cola and it can use to power everything and you don't have to worry about finding outlets or batteries or anything like that. And then from there, I'm just running into the Abbey Box, which is another custom pedal made by this woman, Abby, who makes pedals. And uh, it's just a splitter, splits the signal into the, the A and the B, and then run to the two different amps that I use. All right, so here are the, the two amps that I use. On my side of the stage, I always put this Music Man guy here. I bought this one because it's what Eric Clapton always used. Um, over here, I've got these two Mars Hall cabinets. And uh, I got the two because they, they said that, uh, that two would be louder than just the one. So I'm running both of those. And then on top of it here, I use the very tall Mars Hall head, which is supposed to be used when you have the two boxes like that because it's up so high. And uh, I just run through both of those at the same time and get a mixture of both the tones. <laughs> Thanks for checking out my rig rundown video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.